Well, good morning. Surviving the Southwest. Back at you after about a three week little vacation. Uh, I haven't been too into recording any videos or anything lately because um, I've been spending all my uh, time on guitar. Got some new songs I'm writing, man. You're gonna like them. You're gonna like them a lot. I promise. Plus, we're uh, been trying out some singers and I guess they've been trying us out and I think we landed on one so it's time to put the music back into full swing that's what I'm talking about so I'll have some of that to come um, really today um, actually today is, is six months to the day since I've had my last drink of alcohol feeling damn good haven't really dropped much weight since Last couple months, I'm down about 40 pounds. I went around 200, which is good, but I've been working out a lot, so I'm still like dropping fat. I think the muscles kind of counteracting my weight loss or whatever. So I'm getting big, kinda. So uh, anyway, just want to do a quick video, show you kind of an EDC update. I know I've been kind of Want to keep firearms off the page because of some stuff going on here in New Mexico with the red flag laws and all that, but we ain't doing nothing wrong. You know, we really exercise professional firearms fundamentals and we're extremists with safety. But I think this is something that needs to be talked about, especially in the wake of Elmer Fudd being disarmed. He got his Second Amendment rights taken away from him, which that's kind of controversial because he wasn't really the best firearms handler anyway. I wouldn't want to go hunting with the guy, I'll tell you that much right now. But Anyway, we'll go over my quick uh, EDC. You all have seen what I keep in my bag. That's pretty much the same, but this is what I carry on my person from day to day because sometimes I don't bring my bag with me and, and I want to be able to protect myself and others if the situation arises and this is... Uh, this is what I, these are my tools that I would use to do so. All right, so this is how I like to roll. I like to wear a nice loose overshirt with a shirt tucked in. That way, firearm, extra magazine, and whatever else you're carrying on your tool belt isn't rubbing up against your skin, making it uncomfortable. You got to be comfortable, or else you're not going to want to do this every day. So, first order of business. We got pepper spray. Besides verbal de-escalation, they call it verbal judo. You, you should be going for this. Unless there's an immediate threat that needs to be eliminated, this should be your first step. It's called escalation of force. You're gonna wanna just try to just hit them with some pepper spray and get out of there. Unless there's more of an immediate threat, okay? Next we got a nice little pocket knife my brother just got for me. This one's kind of cool. It's serrated. It's got the bottle opener, which does me no good anymore. It's got a nice little LED flashlight. Now when I go out at nighttime, I have a tactical flashlight. You can buy those really nice ones for under $20. And that's another part of, of escalation of force. Hit them with that strobe. Uh, disorient them. You know, that'll keep them from coming at you. You gotta do everything you can to keep from pulling your firearm. It's got a window breaker and a seat belt cutter. Nice little rescue knife. Next is another pouch with eight round magazine. And I carry Springfield Armory. XDS chamber nine millimeter Got a nine round magazine With one in the chamber I always always carry one in the chamber You want to be able to get the jump because you're already going to be at a disadvantage You're never going to be Going to be the aggressor. You're always the defender and defenders are always at a disadvantage
point that away from me. <laughs> Exercise in firearm safety. So here we go. XDS chamber nine millimeter. Nine round magazine with one in the chamber. Makes 10, 10 rounds right off the bat. It's another eight round magazine. We got our pepper spray. We got our rescue knife. And my good buddy Elliot hooked me up with that concealed carry holster. It's a really nice one. Now that I dropped all the weight, I can uh, comfortably carry concealed. There are holsters for fat guys though. I started looking into those before I dropped the weight. I don't remember the brand or, or what, but they're out there. So I guess that's it for now. Um, man, I'm looking forward to get some of this music out for y'all. We're going to get ready to record and hopefully make some, some music videos out of them too. Just going to have fun with it. That's all I got for now. Hope everyone has a good week. We'll see you next time.